Well, I think uh, in Riley's perspective, it's something new. It's exciting. It's uh, it brings fireworks to his life. Um, you know, it's different. So you know, uh, it's bringing out the best in Riley. I think here's you know it uh, it makes Riley a little more comfortable with who he is inside because he sees someone out who's happily gay and uh, and he's you know attracted to him and they're both you know uh, going through Riley's uh, adventure together kind of until the point where Riley will hopefully come out and yeah because I mean Zane Zane's gone through a lot of this stuff earlier before him I, I, in, in my opinion so it's, it's great for Riley because he's felt very alone uh, in all of this and trying to cure himself and and feeling out of place and, and a minority and then he finally finds someone that that, say, that says you know it's okay yeah and uh, you know a lot of situations in, in one's personal life you can feel that way I find uh, Zane's pretty much the role model for Riley. Yeah, he's a, he's a bit of a mentor, mm -hmm. uh, which is interesting because he has to be a rock throughout the show. Uh, and uh, yeah, it makes me kind of question like, what? How do I play this? Because I, you know, you're trying to be perfect. You're trying to show the right thing to people who are watching or for people who are going through the same type of thing as Riley. Um, but you're only human, and you need to show flaws. That that's why people watch stuff is to see other people being human on a on a screen and feel okay, like to relate to stuff and say, "Well, that's me," or you know, these type of things are alright. But in, in Zane's case, I'm always trying to do the the right thing, and uh, that that can be hard because I'm just a, a normal guy. Well, it's interesting playing Zane because. Um, <coughs> It's a, it was a challenge. It's a, it's a different. I do also. I've done all sorts of roles, and um, this one he's a gay character, and I'm and I'm being a straight guy. But you approach in the same way as you'd be attracted to a girl. It's the same thing, and it's been really awesome to play a, a love interest and to be in love with someone, um, and, and to deal with them not being okay with with you, uh, and knowing that they feel that way about you. It's it's, it's it's pretty tough uh, and not feeling I mean there's all sorts of relations to it too I mean being a minority I'm from South Africa and, and uh, you know I've been picked on for you know where I'm from and I've stood up to, to bully like groups of people and uh, really felt alone and stuff so I have a very like strong feeling about what, what Zane has to do and what he stands up for uh, because a lot of people aren't where one can be reluctant to, to say what you believe in or to, to be okay with yourself when you know. Um, so it's, it's been a great journey because I feel like Zane is much wiser and, and evolved than I am. So I've been learning a lot through um, what he does and how he conducts himself and how he handles situations. Because when I dealt with bullying and, and, and that sort of thing, uh, you know, you get kind of angry or not. I've been impressed with, with Zane. Yeah, I think uh, I think Shannon makes a valid point. Uh, I find that playing Riley Stavros enables me to find a certain um, character in myself, which I never thought would uh, sort of sort of come to the forefront. I, I feel I feel like discovering Riley's true desires and um, really elaborating on his story uh, enables me as a as a as an actor and as a person to really gain perspective in the world about certain situations. You know that are occurring outside of my, you know, uh, outside of my normal, you know, lifestyle. I think one of the reasons I like playing Riley is because um, he's so conflicted and um, he's struggling with internal and external uh, problems, and I like being able to resolve those problems uh, as an actor and and also as my character because I learn from what Riley is experiencing and you know sometimes I find that um, Riley's affected me in my everyday life I would find myself maybe uh, being a little more aggressive or acting how I would on this show and I, I, I find uh, one of the best parts about playing my character is probably the challenge and um, that's pretty much it yeah I don't think Riley would ever leave Zane. I mean, that would be ridiculous. So, girls, too bad. No, actually, I think uh, Riley is a little bit attracted to, uh, to dancers. He's a good dancer. Ooh, got a bit of competition. Uh, 
There's a couple dancers on the show. Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of girls. There's a lot of great girls in the set. And I actually remarked to myself, I was like, why are all these girls so amazing? Like, behind the scenes, they're really cool, solid, lovable women. And uh, they, it astounds me sometimes, but I, I don't know how they go through their picking process, but they're really, really cool girls. But then I guess we're not talking personally. That'd be better to talk about who we go mm -hmm. for as characters. Exactly. Um, who would you go for, Zane? There maybe, is no maybe, you know, maybe, maybe Adam, actually. Adam? Because, not because, because Adam, I feel... I, I haven't got to watch the full scope of everyone's arc yet, but I've really got the sense of that and has like a really wonderful heart and a very drawn, and because Zane's a good person, I'm very drawn to that. We spent a lot of time together last summer and mm -hmm. uh, uh, didn't know I was going to go be going for the show. They didn't know that I was part, that I was good buddies and then I came into the, the reading and they were like, oh, I hear that you're friends with, with RG actually. I said, yeah. So that, that's a nice bonus. We didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, but that was just awesome because you get to work with a friend of yours. The thing is that before the show, RG and I knew each other pretty well. We were, we were together a lot of the time and I came to the reading and the director was like, are you guys friends? And I said, yeah. I said, we didn't know that. That's a great bonus. But it's awesome to be able to play off a friend of yours and get to be in this like lucky situation uh, because we were uh, big time bros. Yeah. It's a dream come true. Actually, you want to know a secret? Guess who helped him out with the audition? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He called me Zane before the audition. He like, okay, Zane, and he just like try get me in the mind frame that I had the role, which is kind of cute, good bro. Well, you know what? If you want to watch some more dance moves, I'm actually doing a show called Baxter, which is on Family Channel, and I play a hip hop dancer called Devin who comes into an art school, and uh, he's like all about you know the fun and love of dancing, and then he finds himself kind of stuck in doing contemporary and ballet, and it's kind of funny. So check it out on Family if you want Baxter. My name's Devin. I think what's different about um, this storyline uh, on Degrassi is that uh, it's mainly geared towards the unstereotypical homosexual gay jock. I mean, we all know that they exist and that, you know, there are, you know, human beings who are struggling with uh, pretty much the exact same uh, scenario as Raleigh. And on television, we don't normally see, especially teen television, we don't normally see, um, uh, homosexual events unfold the way they do on Degrassi and on Raleigh's storyline. You know, we had Adamo and uh, Marco's storyline, but that was a little more, that was a little more femme, and I think this is a, like, a different perspective, a different light at, uh, pretty much the same subject. Um, um, yeah, because it's, um, it's, I mean, Zane, for me, I thought Zane, you know, I didn't want to, I wanted to be able to show that you can just be someone without any kind of stereotype, uh, and you, you don't. You know, we always feel inclined to, to come to stereotypes to belong somewhere. I mean, I'm from South Africa. I'm a mixed race. I've never really felt like I belong to certain. You don't feel enough for something, and you never feel, you know, straight enough. You don't feel gay enough. You don't feel Asian enough. You don't feel South African enough. You don't feel manly enough. All these sorts, sorts of things, and I just wanted to be like. You can just be someone, and you know it doesn't have to narrate the type of person that you are. That's just you know the way the way you feel about things. Jen, I was doing background, and I remember I remember I was like sleeping in the back room. Uh, I had long hair, and like I was really tired. And Mary McDonald, who plays Emma, came out, and we started talking. And we became pretty good friends, and I, I was going to the theater school, uh, the National Theater School, and I'd come back every holiday and we'd go for coffee. Uh, so I became friends. I had a relationship with her before her and Shanae, and I know but Nina I'm really good friends with. But uh, then, uh, I mean, as the background, like, <laughs> remember they always, I thought their muffins were so awesome on this background. They have, like, really good food. But, I, yeah, I, I did background uh, a couple years ago, and then before I went to theater school, and then I uh, stopped doing it. I miss it, though. But the thing about background, too, is they're really important people. You you play, you're playing off each other. There's, there's a whole crowd, and the, the background can get taken for granted. But really, it's a whole story of everyone. So um, it's I love to have a relationship with all the people that I'm with. Like I'll hug a random background, uh, or a friend of mine, or something. And uh, but then you know might might be too much. Or so, but yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about. But <laughs> the background's really important. And uh, uh, being on that side, I miss it, and it gives me another understanding as to. Um, 
yeah, the value of everyone on the set. It's the crew. It's not just it's not just yourself as the actor. It's a it's like movies are made, plays are performed. I guess. I love being on the football team because uh, I never got to play the way I'm from. I played rugby and soccer, and I indulge in all sorts of sports and cultural things. But I was really excited. That I got to put on <laughs> yellow tights and like a, you know big shoulder pads and hoot and like scream and like be a total jock because that's fun. And uh, yeah, I, I love because I'm I'm not gonna do that in my everyday life. Uh, I think uh, one of my favorite um, like highlights of the season is like. Pretty much uh, all the conflict. I love seeing Riley in conflict. I love, I love it when he struggles with other people, and I love when he knocks someone out. Uh, and I love violent scenes. I'm kind of violent to think about it, but I think uh, seeing actually him resolve his his problems is one of the most like uh, rewarding um, aspects. But I think the highlights of the season has got to be all the problems and how they work out. And I love having Zane with me, helping me, and making faces like you're <laughs> sobbing.